hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here i am Liki. so today i am just going to be telling you guys an interesting story yes so if you like to you know hear what the story is all about do stay tuned till the end of this video see you guys in the video my story goes this way back um when i was in uni that was um 2015 yeah towards the middle of 2015 or towards the ending rather of 2015 that was when this happened i was actually in um 200 level then so my first year was in the hostel yeah but hostel life wasn't just cool for me because there were lots and lots of things that I didn't really fancy in the hostel. I, you know, we're six in a room. Um, were we six? No, we're eight in a room. There were four bunks. There's down and up bunk. So <clears throat> it wasn't that easy. You know, it wasn't that fun. So I just thought to myself, why not get a house? You know and live a better life yeah live a comfortable life because i'm not about to stress myself this way just because i want to you know school i want to be comfortable you know so i just decided okay i'm gonna get a house i told my mom about it and initially she wasn't really cool with it but she came to the hostel and she saw how i was leaving she wasn't cool with it get a house i got this agent this agent guy I called him, you know, he told me that um, right now he's not available but he's going to connect me with another agent and he connected me with another agent and I went on ahead and called the agent and I met the agent, we both went to um, a house available because I told him what I wanted, how I wanted the house, he took me to the house that was available at that time that was close to what i wanted and the house was situated in a very good place there was light there was water everything was just cool in the house yes so i just chose the house immediately i didn't even wait for him to take me to another house i just told him guy this is what i'm going for this is the the, the, the kind of house i want this is how i want my house to be. it's a lady that owns the house so she called me um, and she was like okay since you like the house this is the price and that is the price of this and that this is how we're going to do it so the agent that i wanted to leave i was just like okay i went outside to talk to the agent that i'm going to actually pick the house so he just told me that she talked to the the landlady of the house and all that i said okay i'm gonna talk to her so the guy collected extra money from me hmm. I didn't know that I was not supposed to even give him any money. I was supposed to pay the whole money to the woman and then she would in turn give him the agency fee. Or I don't know, when we went outside, it was like, okay, so now I'm leaving. Um, my agent fee is 10% of the total amount I was supposed to pay for the house. I just said, okay, I gave the guy the 10%. So I went back to the woman the next day to, you know, talk about the house and pay and all that and i met the woman in her office i didn't go to the house directly to see the woman because when i called her she was already at work so i went to meet her at work we talked we made an agreement i signed the papers we did everything and i made the transfer to her account straight up i didn't waste time i didn't tell anybody i didn't take anybody to the house i didn't make inquiry about the house i didn't do nothing i paid straight up because i was so eager to just move in so I started buying my stuff because she was still, she was yet to do the painting of the house and all that. She told me she was going to paint it to my test, which was another catch for me, yeah. So I didn't even have to spend money painting the house and all that. So I only took some people there to wash the house. They washed the house, cleaned it up and she called me, uh, what color of paint do you want my baby? I was like, um, I want you know, either pink or purple. So she was like, okay, I'm going to do anything for you. I was like, oh my God, my landlady is so sweet and all that. So hmm, I told her what I wanted and she painted it just as I wanted. I even had to go there. I showed them design. You can imagine, you know, I showed them design of how, what I wanted and the design of how I wanted the painting to be. So with that being said, 
we did all that and i went back home <laughs> the next day i went with my elder sister to see the house and all that so my elder sister saw the house she liked it she was like wow this house is cool you know it's cool and then the price wasn't that much for how beautiful the house looked and the woman was giving me this extra attention <laughs> i didn't know <laughs> i didn't know what i was signing up for then so i just said okay um so now i can start moving in my things right that's me asking my sister she said yeah of course so we picked out a day um of when we'll be bringing my stuff in there so just the normal curious me now i was like okay i've not seen this guy that they said is living by the other side of my house that's the guy living my neighbor the so-called brother i said i've never seen this guy so i asked the woman um you said you have a brother and he's the one staying here right and i've never seen him anytime i come here i don't usually see him he was like ah, you used to see him you used to see him and he usually sits outside the gate i'm like oh i've never seen him i just assumed and you know forgot about everything so i just went home and started bringing my things we went to market we bought some stuff we went to the mall we got some stuff i just was literally arranging my house you know but because it's a new house that was the first time of me getting my own apartments you know so i needed to buy a lot of stuff so i was just buying bit by bit I, I i hadn't moved there you know but i had already paid and the house was already mine i had my keys you know so i was just fixing everything putting everything in order and all that good stuff and there was this day my mom actually came around so my sis my mom and my sister's baby went to the house because my mom wanted to see the place that i had gotten so we got there you know and we're all in the room we're just talking gisting and all that good stuff and we had a knock on my door the knock was like mad somebody was hitting the door like it was literally hitting the door bam 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 we could hear it with the whole full force the, the, the door was vibrating i'm like <laughs> so i peeped through the net i now saw this horrible looking person this person is one drug addict he's a junkie actually he had mental issues he was looking so black he was looking horrible his hair was looking like that of a madman in fact he had mental issues i didn't know my mom was like what is this he was screaming he was why are you guys making noise why are you guys making noise i am sleeping i am trying to get some sick hey guys are we okay that don't we know that he needs to sleep i was like what my mom was like who is that he was like come outside come outside let me show you who i am like we're very scared so we had to call the woman and the woman rushed home from work the woman had to like tell him to calm down and rush out of the house we locked the door and my mom was like what happened how did you get this house how didn't you know that there was someone like this in this house before you got the house i was like i didn't know i didn't make any inquiries and all that we called the woman later on we told the woman that <laughs> I won't be able to stay in that house it's not gonna be possible because i'm a lady you know i'm coming there to live alone and there's no how i am going to live with such person in the same compound and all that the woman says she understands like she didn't tell me she hid it from me she never let me know that this there was something like this usually if you had something like this a girl is not even supposed to come live in the same house with this kind of person right you're supposed to tell me that this is the situation of this person if i was going to be able to cope fine if i'm not going to be able to cope fine you know that kind of stuff but she she didn't tell me nothing i just i was in the dark and i was always going there alone you know even my agent guy he just collected his money and left he didn't even come back it was even later i got to know that he collected 20 percent from the money i paid you get i gave him 10 percent the woman gave him 10 percent because she didn't know i had already um given him money so I had to go back you know to go get my money and go get my stuff basically so when i got back i went back there and then i met the woman's children yeah she had two daughters one was age seven i think the other one was age nine or so so those children were just gisting me and telling me stuff 
mind you i have called the woman that i'm waiting for her in her house so she just told me to stay in her living room and i'm safe in her living room i should just sit there and wait for her and truly i locked the doors myself i stayed in the living room with those children we didn't come out so i was just asking them a few questions about the house and all that so they were now telling me that um this their uncle will go about looking for chickens plucking out their heads um he, he just does random brutality like you know he was just brutal like very brutal that sometimes this this guy will, will chase up uh, chase them out of the compound with cutlass and all that that they thank god now that they took him places that the guy is okay now he's better he has improved he's, he no longer does um all those other stuff anymore like he's a better person now i'm like hey, hey, god is this the kind of person i'm coming to live with like is she kidding me are you serious and this woman never ever mentioned anything to me like is she trying to put my life at risk or what so with all this i called my mom i just said my mom my mom was like ah that she do and come and live there oh that she not wait till the woman comes back i said i have to see the woman and tell the woman that I want to collect my money because I need to get another house almost immediately. Yeah, because they know how I am moving out without um my money. Yes. So why after I finished talking to my mom, I heard some footsteps. Um I didn't know that it was this guy that entered the compound though. <laughs> I didn't know he was the one that entered the compound. So those children thought um it was their mom. So they wanted to like go out and you know go meet their mom so i just held them back home i was like stay there or if it's your mom she'll come and knock at the door and we'll open this door we are all staying here today till your mom enters this house as in she knocks on the door and we know that yes this is your mom before we open the door you guys are not going anywhere that what if it's your uncle that is by the gate so please you guys should stay here oh. so the this the children they were like okay no alarm auntie we're enjoying your company actually bought them something so we're all just seeing and eating those stuff so the children now, you know, when you write children now, they were just downloading gist for me. They were downloading serious gist for me. Oh. <laughs> so I was just there. I was panicking. I was shivering. I had goosebumps all over my body. I was just like, God, what have I gotten myself into? I was just, you know, regretting in so many ways. So, because I actually saw the woman coming from the window. So I had, okay, yeah, this is the woman. I opened the door. <laughs> when I stepped out, I saw this guy. The guy was very huge. You guys, the guy was huge, black, and he had full hairs on. Like some of the hairs were twisted. Like you know when somebody has not shaved his hair for the longest time, when he has not brushed his hair or combed his hair, he had looked so unkept. He looked so. He was clean, yeah. He wasn't dirty, but he looked like a madman. I'm not exaggerating. The guy looked like a madman. He was very huge and black. He had red eyes. He was sitting down there in front of my door, smoking. My own door. Immediately, I saw him. <sighs> me being me now. That was how I picked Rezo. <laughs> the woman was calling me back. The woman was shouting, ah, My baby, come back. He will not hurt you. Come back. He won't hurt you. I was running. So I ran through the um, the front gate. It was a very quiet street, and everybody had their peace to themselves. So this place where they kept heap of sand, they heaped some sand there. I think they were walking in that house or something in front of the house. So there was a path they dug there. So I fell into that place, and I was struggling to stand up. <gasps> this giant dog came from um, the gate um before me like i think the dog was just sitting outside there so when he, the, the dog saw me running through that path the dog was just barking barking i, I was just praying i closed my eyes like my eyes were tightly closed i was praying to god that god please save me like i could not deal the dog was barking like and the area was very quiet nobody was passing so the owner of the dog now was hearing the barking of the dog so the owner of the dog now came out wasn't even running after me nobody was running after me i was just running on my own i was just running on my own nobody was running after me so the man now called the dog the man was calming the dog down the dog refused to go like the dog was still backing at me backing at me me i was just dead it was just like i was dead <laughs> because i was as in i was frozen like i could not move it was like i had instant stroke i could not move i could not stand up i was just looking at that huge dog staring at me, backing with his teeth, like, oh my god. 
I was I was scared. That was the worst moment of my life, seriously. Man now came and you know called the dog, you know, started talking to the dog, you know, in their own little ways. Talked to the dog, the dog now went to the man and I got home, you guys. I got home dirty, sleeperless, like I was barefooted and I was looking mad. I was looking mad. <laughs> Aside the other money I paid to the agent on my own that no one asked me to, yeah. They paid me my full money and the woman apologized to my mom, apologized to me and my sis. You know, the guy too came on and said he didn't mean no harm, that he was just um like he's just like that sometimes, yeah. He was just that kind of person that he gets aggressive sometimes, you know. When he feels threatened, he gets gets aggressive, yeah. So he wasn't really coming for me that day, he was just there, he, he just stood up like maybe when someone stands up to go inside his room and me i was scared so i picked race <laughs> so guys that's my story and um i hope you guys enjoyed the story if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are yet to please subscribe to my channel and um i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys so so much for watching and i love you guys so much okay take care and bye Mwah.